Welcome back to BSC Pro Wrestling. We got a great episode for you as we continue. Let's keep things rolling here. Another uh, amazing match coming to you from Gold Rush 2007. My name is Dave Blazard, Bloodthirsty Bob Kapoor sitting beside me. And uh, you really like this young guy making his way to the ring. I do. Mike Alias Dave is his rookie year here in BSC, and he's looking to make an impression here. He's going to make a big splash over El Vigote, and he told me tonight he's going to rip the mustache off of that Mexican. Well, he's going to have his hands full. Vigote, uh, a master of many styles in the ring, and very adaptable as well. I love watching Vigote in the ring, and the mustache is always a lot of fun. You know I tried to grow a mustache like that. Dave, I think you have to have some testosterone to do that. He's certainly not a man, not like me, not like Mike Elias. Give, it, give him a big hand, give it up for Mike Elias. <laughs> and he's telling the crowd exactly what I would if, well, I didn't want to get beat up. Listen to that, the fans really showing what they feel about Mike Elias. And now, I like to get the referee to cover his ears up. Weighs into the burrito form. You like that, don't you, Bob? Well, I got in trouble for saying stuff like that. Here he's being announced at that weight. What's going on? That's two 115 and one quarter uh, pound burritos, I believe. Ah, uh, yes, and that half pound has got to be in that stupid mustache. You know, I don't understand this guy at all. The guy looks like uh, a walking cartoon character. He's got this big Yosemite Sam type mustache. He speaks like Speedy Gonzalez. What's going on? Well, I'm looking forward to seeing these two lock up. Alias with a great uh, upstart to him. A lot of people talking about the potential that this kid has. And uh, well, we'll see what he can do against El Bigote. Well, absolutely. He's uh, got all the tools, all the skills. I mean, the only thing he needs now is experience. And while wrestling in front of this this huge crowd, that's certainly going to be the experience that, that he can put on his resume. Oh, look at that. Right to the back of the head. Mike Alias looking to outsmart Bigote and does so quickly right at the beginning. Oh, and look at Vigote complaining about a hair pull. You're wearing a mask, you big dummy. Now, Alias had a handful of the mask. Be honest now. Be truthful. The referee telling him, don't pull on the mask. Well, don't pull on the mask. Maybe he shouldn't wear the mask. You ever think of that? Oh, actually, I don't want to see his ugly face. I prefer the mask, then. I suppose I do. All right, then. Two gentlemen lock up. Call an elbow tie up. Vigote. Control of that left arm. We're going to twist it, pop it right from the shoulder. Look at, oh, and Vigote eats a forearm from Alias. There you go, Mike Alias. I mean, the one thing, it, Dave, uh, you know, I talked to this kid to give him some, some life lessons, some coaching lessons. Beautiful bridge now. Hold on a second. Sorry to interrupt you there, but Alias would kick out. But one thing I did teach him is you got to watch tapes. you got to scout your opponents, and he knows every dirty trick that El Vigote has got. A big scoop. Vigote lands on his feet. I don't think Elias saw that one coming in. A huge chop to the chest from El Vigote Dos. And a second one now. Down goes Elias hard to the mat. Whatever happened to El Vigote Uno? Well, this is uh, the second generation Vigote, I suppose. As Dos now Oops. makes his way up to the corner. Look at this. Goes to the sky and a cover one, two. And a big kick out there by Mike Elias. And I can't believe anything would mate with anything. That would result in El Vigote Dos. It's quite bizarre. But what's bizarre? Mama Vigote is a wonderful lady. And look at this big clothesline out to the outside. Goes Alias. And Mike Alias. very receptive to that. Well, I think so. But Mike Alias has got to rethink his strategy right now. He might have to take a little take a little breather, use this 10 count to his advantage, get his head back in the game, come back with a new strategy. And don't let Vigote do, do things like this. Hold on now. Referee stops him. <laughs> Back, uh, very much to the dismay of the fans here in Timmins. Well, El Vigote trying to take a run from the border, and he got stopped. No green card, buddy. And Mike Elias has finally got a... Oh, look at that now. A chance to regroup and do a beautiful hangman, hangman neck snap across the top rope. Using the top rope to his advantage. Vigote down now in a bad place. As Elias makes his way back into the ring. Measures him with a big right boot to the side of the head. Jockeying for position, smart, nice snap, mare over. And see, this is what Elias, this, you know, the, the mind of the student, going after that injured head. Uh, El Vigote's head snap back, land, you know, on the back of his head on the mat. And Mike Elias doing the smart thing, working on that injured head. Well, a smart thing for him to do is to keep working on that head because for a high flyer like Vigote, once he gets up to the top rope, if there's a bit of a head injury, maybe a, a concussion-like syndrome, standing on the top rope feels like you're about 30, 40 feet in the air, and the air feels a lot thinner up there. 
Did you hear that chop? Good God! It looks like Mike Gillis is guy cast iron chest because he's. I mean, he, he must not have felt that. Look at that. He's wow, going back to that head with a nice shot to the head. Alyson looking for approval from the fans. I don't think he's going to get it. Measuring him up with that huge elbow right down to the top of the head once again of Vigote. Referee should probably check him, check the eyes. He's lost over this. A very cocky cover. Vigote just rolls that left shoulder up. Well, the confidence there is showing through an alias, but uh, maybe a bit cocksure there. Wow, beautiful standing drop kick. I got to give it up to Mike Elias on that one. See, Dave, you're finally, uh, look, you're finally seeing things my way. You're seeing Elias has got nothing but potential. The guy's a straight shooter right to the top. Speaking of going to the top, he's going to the top right now, and he's going to land hard on El Vigote's head once again. Wow, the fans all over Elias in this one. And up he goes, met with a drop kick, down he goes. The fans going crazy as Vigote leveling the playing field. Now both men flat on their backs. And Mike Alias' momentum just got stopped with that. I, uh, admittedly, a good, beautiful drop kick right to the face. And wow, Mike Alias is in a bad way. But El Vigote still too hurt, too dizzy, too dazed to capitalize on the situation. Both men looking to get back up to their feet now. A let's go mustache champ from the fans here at Timmins. I love it. Getting behind Vigote Dos. Trading chops and, and fists. And the whole, wow, listen to that. Well, I don't know where Vigote is getting his fire, but uh, he just might get cooled down right now with a, no! A big spinning elbow not took Mike Alias down. And look at this beautiful neck breaking clothesline of sorts. And down goes Alias holding his head now. Vigote. Beautiful big back body drop. Down goes Alias. Back into the corner, retreating. And, and begging for forgiveness, begging for some timeout. Oh. But Gote meets him with a huge chop to the chest. Oh, I'm talking about the lack of sportsmanship. Mike Elias looking for a timeout. Relva Gote just charging in like a bull. Gote continues to stalk Mike Alias. Another beautiful chop to the chest. Whip to the buckle. Reverse now. Into goes Vigote. Alias, though, his chest is beat red. Look at that. Follows in with a clothesline. Huge fist to the side of the head. Well, I'll give it up to the tenacity of Mike Alias to take a chop and a beating like that and still be able to come back and take out El Vigote. And oh, lifts oh. him up to the outside. He came into the corner hard. Blocks him now. Oh, and another Jeez. chop to the chest. Blood red at this point. Here goes Vigote. Springboard, Hurricane Rana, did you see that? Oh my god, what the heck was that? Quick as a hiccup, El Vigote takes him down. Well, took him down, the head scissors, um, Hurricane Rana over the top rope, and, and Vigote going to the top, and, well, wow, Alias has got to get out of there. Oh, hang on a minute, what is he doing up there? Vigote! An incredible moonsault from the top rope to the outside. Oh my goodness. And the crowd saying everything. Um, wow, a moonsault by Vigote. Man, the guy's taking risks, taking it all to take out Mike Elias. I can't believe it. Wow, I, I got I know what to say. Referee went outside to check on both men to make sure they're both alive. And now he's issuing a 10 count. That was crazy. Crazy off the top rope from El Vigote. Well, obviously, I think we're going to get a double count out here, Bob. I mean, obviously, El Vigote's head was taking a lot of pounding because you've got to be completely rocked in the mental in the head to do something like that. Well, he whips Alias back in, and we're up to a six count. Vigote rolls back in. It seems like that move just sort of added more steam to Vigote. Well, I don't know, man. Look, give, give credit to Mike Ellis. He took that, and he's come back uh, faster and harder than ever. Swinging neck breaker. Alias with a cover gets two. Oh, nearly a three count. I mean, the guy has a will to win, and, and he's, you know, he's feeling the pain. You can see it in his face. You can see it the, the beat redness of his chest, and he's he's willing to do it all to get this victory. Wow, and those tights about as red as his uh, chest at this point. I know Vigote springboard to the outside once again. Alias doesn't know where he is, and a beautiful springboard leg drop maneuver. One, two, this one is over. Give it up for El Vigote Dos. Goes home successful here at Timmins. Well, I'm not going to take anything away from El Vigote. That was a hard-fought victory, but Mike Ellis, give credit to the kid. I mean, he really stepped up his game. He really, you know, 